When I started this year, you never heard tell of the word art. As the time went on, it come available. Back in the 50s and 60s, when you got 60 year old, you retired and go to Social Security. I never did retire. I, I've done all this since I thought to retire. I love art because I think that it is the most pure moment of a person connecting with their environment and where they're from and where they grew up. Wallace's work to me is so honest and so much about him and it's about this particular place at this particular time and his individual life and it could not have come from anywhere else in the country, in the world, it couldn't have been made by any other person except for him and to sort of see it here now being restored by people from this same place and looking for how it can remake the same place in the future and become a new identity and become a new source of pride for this town is so amazing and I think what art should be doing everywhere. Well, he is a unique example of the great talent that's in this state and he has never had the formal training or anything and he took things left from his uh, repair jobs and built wonderful artistic things which shows you you can create things where you don't think there's anything to create. I think a lot of people didn't know what to expect when they got them because they'd been up in the air for 25, 30 years. And so now every day they have the big saying and you can see it written all over boards here like what would Volus do? And so that's sort of the approach we're trying to take is to get them back to how Volus made them. And Jeff will say you know, I want Volus to be proud of them, and I want him to look at them and say, I made that with pride, and to have them look the way that Volus intended them to look forever. So to be involved in this project is this sort of like, you know, like it gives me hope. Art can change the world and like can make a difference. <laughs>